Staff Power Group 23. Tune feedback is off for at least one plane of beam 1. Tune feedback is off for at least one plane of beam 2. And welcome back uh, in the CERN Control Center. We, we see that the ramp has reached uh, uh, more than 1,400, uh, 500 GB. drivers of, of this physics program are the measurement uh, of um, heavy quarks which uh, uh, probe the quark gluon plasma uh, at the scales which, uh, which uh, enlighten um, its internal structure and uh, dynamical uh, properties and um, also the measurement of uh, photons and uh, uh, the leptons which uh, uh, they um, are uniquely um, uh, penetrating probes as uh, they do not interact with uh, the quark gluon plasma and they provide access uh, to um, um, uh, fundamental characteristics of the plasma as uh, its uh, temperature. Uh, but uh, there is much more. Um, um, for instance, uh, a very important uh, goal of uh, the RAN3 is uh, really to um, uh, understand um, the emergence of uh, QGP uh, quark gluon plasma like uh, um, a phenomena um, in a small collision systems and one of the goals for instance is to um, uh, establish uh, uh, a unified uh, picture of the uh, particle production uh, from small systems uh, to large systems. Uh, essentially we did many changes to our uh, experimental apparatus following the two main goals. The first one is to be able to take data much faster in RAN3 and RAN4 of the LHC than what we did uh, in the first 10 years of the program. And the second one uh, is uh, to measure the particles produced uh, in the collisions uh, with a much better precision, in particular for what concerns uh, uh, the position uh, of their origin close uh, to the interaction point. Uh, with the RAN3 of the LHC in particular, we target uh, using uh, uh, two special types uh, of quarks. Uh, namely uh, charm and beauty quarks. Uh, these quarks are heavy and uh, we want to look uh, how they are uh, propagating within the quark gluon plasma, how they are interacting with it, and by doing that uh, we can infer its properties. Alistair uh, 3 um, is the study of uh, the collision of heavy nuclei, uh, the lead nuclei. This is Mike Lamont, uh, Director for Accelerators, LHC, commenting on off, uh, the importance of Run3. Really good to be getting back in business. Uh, obviously delays from COVID, uh, a lot of uh, hard work by the teams during the long shutdown to get the machine ready. Um, really coming, looking forward to a new chapter in this uh, the remarkable machine. We will be able to do more precise measurements than in the past. For instance, measurements of the Higgs bosons, its properties, its couplings to other particles. And that's not all. We will also be able to search for rare processes, rare processes that we expect to happen, but we, at this point in time, do not enough, have enough data to do that. So we hope to see some of these new processes that we have never observed before. And maybe we will also get some exciting new discoveries of rare processes here. We are, we are now going uh, to the uh, LHC interaction point number two, where the ALICE detector is located. Uh, you can see, again, a very beautiful animation of the detector. It's all its layers. Uh, these are complex machines full of uh, components and subcomponents, all built by universities and labs uh, from countries from the entire planet. And at the center, the two beams are brought to collision. I now see 
Federico Ronchetti uh, from the Alice uh, Control Center. You are the run coordinator. It's, uh, this is very important for you because finally you start running your detector. Hi, Paola. Yes, exactly. So Alice is basically a new detector. We have new components, new trackers, uh, new online systems, new trigger. And we are really looking forward to see these high energy problem collisions as we uh, need these collisions for our AVIM program. And we also have a genuine physics program with proton physics. So you're already happy starting with protons today? <laughs> yes, extremely happy. <laughs> and we wish you good luck for the new Thank season, you very much. for the new run. And we come back to you when collisions uh, have happened. Atlas, are you okay? Atlas is ready for collisions. Alice, okay? Yes, Alice is ready for collisions. Good. CMS, are you okay? Yes, confirmed you are ready for collisions. LHCB, for you, okay? Good. So then we can start the countdown. CERN control center, we just had collisions at an unprecedented energy, 13.6 tera electron volt, and this opens a new era of exploration at CERN, a new chapter, run three of the Large Hadron Collider will give us collisions at higher energy than before, and also an amount of data equivalent to the total amount of data recorded uh, in the previous two runs. And this, of course, will increase our opportunities for discovery or for understanding the fundamental laws of the universe. And now it's now time to go to back to Alice at point two, where we see Luciano Musa, spokesperson of the experiment. Hello, Luciano. So celebrations at Alice as well. Thank you very much, Paula. Uh, there is a great excitement here and also a, a growing fibrillation. You know, we've been preparing uh, um, since several years, and now we are starting taking data with the fully revamped uh, uh, detector. Uh, which will uh, allow us, so this is a very massive upgrade of uh, the detector, the readout system, and online computer system, which will allow us uh, to study proton proton collisions and a bit later in the year also lead collisions at much higher rates than it was possible in run one and, uh, and two. That's uh, fabulous, that's fabulous. Happy new season, uh, Alice. What are your expectations from run three? We have made a fantastic progress in reshaping our detector into a, a very new device. So it, the time is extremely exciting for us. Uh, with the new device came also a new physics program and focused on the very heavy quarks plowing through what we call quark gluon plasma, a state of matter that we think existed very early after Big Bang. And we're trying to understand how it works, what the microscopic structure of that of that. Uh, uh, matter is. Thank you, Matthias. Something I have the impression. <laughs> yes, while we're here celebrating the top energy in proton proton collisions, LHC is also a special device for colliding heavier uh, nuclei. Particles. And, and, and we are looking forward to lead lead collisions later in the year. Yeah, maybe uh, Mike, you can say a word about the program uh, of the LHC. So you, you're able to collide uh, not just protons, but different uh, nuclei. Yes, yeah, it, for, so, so for about a month of the year, we uh, switch mode and we go to um, heavy ions. So we did, we've traditionally done lead-lead, but we've also done proton-lead. Uh, we've done xenon-xenon. Um, so 
oxygen, oxygen. So we have actually quite a bit of fun with this. So, uh, so. We know now getting back to you, uh, Luciano Musa. What, what new discoveries uh, would be your preferred for this uh, new run? <laughs> Okay, so the, uh, the, uh, our scientific uh, focus is the, the study of the quark gluon plasma, which is created in the collision of uh, uh, lead and nuclei. And uh, this is uh, the uh, hottest and the densest fluid uh, created um, in the laboratory. Uh, so where quarks uh, and gluons um, are not confined inside, uh, inside the hadrons. And uh, in run one and two, we really made a lot of progress in understanding um, uh, the, uh, uh, the properties of the quarticle plasma. But in run three, we really shift the focus uh, towards um, high precision measurements, which on one hand will allow us uh, to uh, determine with unprecedented precision uh, uh, the macroscopic properties of the quarticle plasma, as for instance, its temperature, energy density, lifetime, uh, viscosity, and etc. And on the other hand, we will try to understand how they are. Uh, these macroscopic properties are uh, connected uh, uh, to the. Um, um, uh, dynamics of, uh, of the constituents of the quark gluon plasma in a microscopic picture. So we are really uh, starting today a new uh, exciting journey with a fully revamped detector and we're really confident that we will be able to go very far and uh, you know looking forward to exciting new results. Thank you very much. Uh uh, Luciano, and thank you very much, Alice. So, and for me, a discovery is also understanding how a, a very special particle like the X boson uh, behaves, like or understanding how the quark gluon plasma behaves. This is a big discovery. We can uh, invite you to go and celebrate. You, you all deserve that. Thanks uh, to the LHC control and also the other <laughs> machine controls that uh, have been flooded today by people, technicians. Thanks uh, to the technical team.